Alright, welcome back to Project Zomboid. In the last episode, we got a lot of metal, and we also made a scrap ninjato. However, I also want to use this metal to uh, armor up our cars, because I have a goal for this casual series. We are going to tackle Louisville. However, before we tackle Louisville, I want to turn one of these cars, either my truck or my muscle car, in the garage here, into something worthy of Mad Max. Like a, some sort of like death race kind of car, you know? However, before we can even put armor on our vehicles, we need a little something called advanced tuning. And that's what this episode is going to be. We are going to be going to every single bookstore around the county to try and find the two books we need. Those two books being Lane's Auto Manuals for Performance Vehicles. This is a performance vehicle. And AutoZar Tuning Atelier for Advanced Tuning. They can spawn in other houses as well, but we'll, um, we're going to be prioritizing bookstores for this. So, this is going to be an action-packed episode, since we're going to be going to other towns for this. Which means we're going to be packing up some weapons to go uh, with us along the way. There we go. Shuba, 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 shuba. So our first stop is going to be the Riverside bookstore to see if I missed anything on my first run through. And then after Riverside, we'll be heading to Rosewood, the Rosewood bookstore, which is in this little strip mall area. After Rosewood, we will head to Muldraw which I believe the bookstore there is in this strip mall right here. And if we don't find the books in either of those two places, then it's off to West Point. Which... Yeah. Let's boogie. Now, West Point is... I really hope we don't have to go to West Point, because, um... Even with my settings lowering the population, and since we're also on... Day 20. Uh... And the population is gonna be pretty high there. I sincerely hope we don't have to go there. Since we are eight days out from being at peak population. Which, yeah, West Point at peak population... Not good. Not good. Hell, any of the towns at peak population is not good. But we got guns, and we've got the skills to use them. So... Let's see. Books. 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 And there is advanced tuning. Autos are tuning atelier, advanced models. Can't believe I never picked it up. So that is our first book that we came here for. Thank fuck. Um and now we need Lane's Auto. Advanced models. Or performance models. Which is not here. So off to Rosewood. We go. Ooh, there's a lot of books in the mail place. Yeah, I explored this place off camera. It's not here. Nope, oh, hello. I guess we can test out our new scrap blade. Oh! <laughs> 
Oh, yeah. It probably does help that we have almost four levels in Longblade. So. Oh, yeah. Or Salvaged Blade. <laughs> All right. If you're a long blade connoisseur in a uh, in Project Zomboid, the salvaged blade is going to be your best friend. So in Rosewood, it's going to be the bookstore and the school. So hopefully, we can find what we're looking for in one of those two places. I should probably eat something. Probably not while driving. Don't drive distracted. This will take us to Ekron, so we can definitely head this direction. We can see if there's any cool guns at the Ekron uh, hunting supply store. So we're going on a road trip! Road trip! While we're on this road trip, I want to talk about some things I've been doing uh, off camera. So uh, I finally got my replay buffer set up in OBS, so now I can start collecting clips at the press of, well, a button. At the press of some, like, a couple keys. So, yeah! So now, um, I might be doing, like, a Clips of the Month. I don't know what I'm gonna call it, probably, like, something dumb. <laughs> So uh, uh, I play I play games a lot in my off time, especially after work, when I come home from work. Um, so yeah, <laughs> I've already got like a folder full of clips at the moment of Deep Rock, fuck, of Deep Rock Galactic. So. Yeah, and I'm going to be continuing to collect clips, and maybe, maybe, at the end of each month, I'll, like, make a compilation or something. If I remember to do so. That way you guys get some extra content to see, I don't know, something that I do when I, in my off time, when I'm not doing, well, PZ. Or maybe if I ever get back into playing PZ with my brother since we've uh, taken a break for a bit. Because we decided to start in West Point for our most recent reset. And it has been kicking our ass. Mainly his, but, <laughs> you know. Anyways, I think we are now on the outskirts of Ekron. I'm not sure. Let's find out. Yep. Or as some people famously call Ekron, Phallus Lake, because it has, well, to the north of us, if you see on the mini-map, a lake that looks, a pond that looks like a dick. So, yeah. You know what would be really funny? If the devs of Project Zomboid made it so that, like, you have to put, like, if you don't put on your seatbelt, um, and you get into, like, a high-speed crash, you fly through the windshield, or something. If the windshield is like, like low condition or something, or there is no windshield, you'll fly through it. That'd be pretty cool. And therefore, like you'd have to like make sure you put your seatbelt on. Just another thing of realism. There's a tool store. One thing I don't like about the scrap weapons is how loud the sound effects are. But I'm pretty sure this is a mod that has been around since build 40, so... 
or even longer maybe I don't know <laughs> oh yeah I think this thing's a lot more durable than the uh, scrap blade that I crafted with my with my brother. So definitely a lot more effective too. I did add a couple of mods, mainly a mod that adds in a certain car, <laughs> one of my favorite cars. And no, it's not the Trans Am that comes with filibuster rhymes used cars. No, no, no. We're going back to 1981. Maybe back in time, if you catch my drift. It's also driven by my favorite... Maybe everyone's fan favorite character in Hotline Miami. So, you know. <laughs> A classic car, not very practical, but it is so stylish. Oh my god, this blade's durable. Oh. <laughs> I'm in love. And again, that's just what you get for being a weeaboo. Well, you were busy. Chomping on the flesh of your former peers and neighbors, I was practicing the blade. <laughs> uh, there's also a police station, but it's like Riverside's police station. It's pitiful. Anyways, farming and rural supply. The door is open. We're in. Now, I don't think we're gonna survive very long, especially since what I'm planning, planning to go to uh, Louisville. Specifically, the Louisville Mall for our sort of end goal of the series. If we get that far. Let's see if we got any cool weapons. Maybe like the high-capacity R1187. Or better yet, a SPAS-12. I guess I had better luck here with my brother since when we came here. Found my brother a SPAS-12. One of his favorite guns. And personally, one of my favorites. And a Glock. And it's loaded. I think we're carrying enough weapons. Uh, that's a problem that uh, you kind of have to learn, is that all your slots, especially when you have mods that add more of them, you don't need to fill every single one of your weapon slots. Alright? It just slows you down. Something my brother has to learn. At most, you need maybe, like, two weapons. Ooh! There's a bookstore in Ekron. I did not know that. Dick. What is with this door? What is in this bookstore that they need such a sturdy ass door? I mean, we are in Kentucky, which is like tornado central. I mean, it's not like Missouri, but like, you know, it's the Midwest. We get quite a lot of uh, storms and tornadoes. All right. Down to Rosewood we go. Rosewood is where one of my favorite characters died. Damn it. One of my longest lasting characters. The one who survived for over a month and got over 1500 kills. I modeled him after, like, my real life self, but... You know. That guy's journey is a crazy story in itself. All these roads remind me of when me and my brother were driving around this area with trucks that would constantly stall out <laughs> because of their engine condition was terrible. But it's all we had. I do kind of find it ridiculous that there are this many zombies out in the sticks. 
then again, it has been 20 days, so... You know. The zombies have had time to roam. Here we are. That's another level in Nimble. We now move a little bit faster. <laughs> nimble level three. All right. And that is a level in Long Blade. Fuck yeah. Nimble is a very hard to level up skill, or just slow to level up. Okay. This could go badly. Fuck you. Any more? Okay. Take a peek outside. I don't see any from this angle. Let's clear the area. Nothing. Okay, well there is an auto shop. Before we head there, though... When in Rosewood. It's always a good idea to hit up the, um... Uh, fire department. Especially if you're, uh... A survivor who, uh, specializes in axes. And the police station... Is also very good. Is that a machete? Or a bread knife. It's a bread knife. <laughs> Slice. And dice. This is so overpowered and I love it. <laughs> uh, it only took us 20 days and we're already, well, uh, actually it didn't take us that long to become a zombie killing badass. Now, it's important to not get overconfident, but <laughs> come on, man. Just, uh, it's so good. I'm not trapped in here with you. You're trapped in here with me. <laughs> oh, glorious axes. Anyways, what's up, motherfucker? Got ourselves a bandana. Like solid snake. Ooh, ooh, those are some nice police cars. Oh, I want one of these. They can really be like Mad Max. Even though Mad Max has a different police car than these, but like, you know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know what? I want to see how good is how good is the one of these police cars over here. You know, I can hotwire. It's just unlocked. Oh, beautiful. M14 magazine and an R1187. Oh, oh, what's this? You want more? Well, bam. Pow. <laughs> uh, I have the power of God. Oh. Oh, man. The Chevalier Titan. And this one's in good condition. Uh, you know what? Let's hotwire this. I will come back for this car. 
Hot wire engine. First try, baby! First try! <laughs> All right! <laughs> Destiny! <laughs> it was fate that brought me here. Is that a Glock 18? <laughs> Mm-hmm. You can't just put a Glock 18 in my face and just feel like it and not expect me to grab it. I mean, come on. So, Rosewood is a very nice place to spawn. Um, it's probably one of the better starting towns. It has better POIs. Uh, and you also have a chance to spawn inside this very police station. And there's also a chance for you to have a key to this police station. Meaning you can get into the armory right away. And if you choose uh, occupations like veteran or police officer, you'll get yourself a nice boost in aiming right away. So, didn't find what we're looking for in Rosewood. I'm pretty sure... Oh, wait, there's still the school. We can go to the school. Let's check their library, see if they got what we're looking for. I'm not sure why there would be a Lane's Auto magazine in a a school library, but, I mean, as a former high schooler who used to spend a lot of his time in the school library, there is some weird stuff in the nonfiction section. Woo! Okay. God, I love this thing. Just come on. <laughs> For those of you who have the scrap weapons mod, the salvaged blade is where it's at. Fuck that scrap blade, get the salvaged blade. Oh my god, that guy is fat. <laughs> Nice hustle, tuds of fun. Next time, try eating a salad. Uh, I saw a thing about spears. Hang on. Yes. Scrap spears. Well, not very durable. Very powerful. We'll make a stop by um, the auto shop north of Rosewood before we head to Maldra. All right, motherfuckers. Let's dance. Did that thing where I look away when I'm, when I'm not supposed to. Ah, uh, yeah. I'm like a goddamn samurai out here. Even though samurais don't use ninjatos, but they, they use katanas, but whatever. Fucking. No one can tell the difference. Dude! <gasps> There it is! Performance models! Fuck yeah! Thank you, Rosewood. You have always been so great. Let's, let's take the highway. I feel on top of the world. Gray military. Ooh, that's a good R1187. Like, that's the, that's the seven rounder. Yoink. The fuck? Sound like a coyote got interrupted. <sighs> I love the rain. I can't wait till fall, actually. Leaves turn red and yellow. And it rains, and it also cools off, and I don't have to run my air conditioning and my fans all the time. And also, all the bugs just decide to fuck off. Granted, I haven't had to deal with many bugs this year, actually. Which is kind of concerning. Because usually in my... But I haven't really seen that many bugs. Because usually my entryway would have been, like... Getting... Swamped with wasps. Like... Damn near every day. But I've only seen, like... Maybe two, maybe... Like, or three in my entryway. Like, the whole... This whole year. And that's... That is probably indicative of the state of our 
planet at the moment. The summers keep getting hotter. More bugs just disappear. It's and it ain't going to get any better anytime soon, sadly. One can hope though. Maybe with like cosmic intervention, we can maybe get our planet back on the right track, but And then again, all the UFO footage we've seen Damn it. Uh, I don't think any cosmic entities are going to be making landfall and contacting us anytime soon, considering we humans tend to kill each other, or attempt to, at the slightest inconvenience. And that's indicative of my faith in humanity. I don't have a lot of it. But, you know, I try. Uh, the aftermath of our, uh, little stunt in, uh, getting our first guns before the helicopter event, and my god, shit hockey. Okay, um, this may, this may have been a bad idea. Okay. Fuck. Okay, just keep driving, just keep driving, just keep driving. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh my... Okay, okay. Fuck. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Don't mind me, I'ma just grab my stuff and leave. Excuse me, please. Fuck this shit, I'm out. <laughs> Woo! Woohoo! Okay. Anyways. <laughs> Holy fuck! That just... Mm, those... okay. I don't think we can go to that gas station for a long time. Cuz, uh, ever since the alarms from last episode just... Oh shit, fuck. Let's not do a repeat of last episode and almost hit that tree and kill ourselves. And we are home. Let's grab our magazines. There we go. A bull bar. I accomplished my goal, and I don't really know what else to do now, so... We've been going for basically two hours. You know what? We could go get that police car. So these, uh, these, this, 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 this vehicle armor. Oh, shit! Oh, damn it. Fuck ass. Tits. That- that was bad. That was bad. That was bad. We need to be careful. Please don't hit that pole. Shit. Please be relatively okay. I really hope there's no engine damage. The hood is zeroed. Okay, that's that's good. That's good. That's good. I hope this will tide us over until we can get home. I should have gotten a throwaway vehicle. Drive down here to gas it up. Then drive it back my damn self. That would have been the smart thing to do. You know? Would have. We jackknifed. <laughs> oh shit. God damn. Give me the news, Doc. How bad is it? Could be worse. Just sleep. Repair to 100%. Ta da. I've been recording for three hours. I think I'll save the grind for next time. So. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. We'll save the metalworking grind 
for next time. All right? So, thank you all so much for watching this episode. And if you liked it, be sure to subscribe to see more. Uh, and also catch whenever I upload. So yeah, I hope you all have a good time.